Rob Rice, now this is a good one. Hunter Clark's last quarter was great, showed calmness and maturity beyond his years. Now, I I was taking some notes during the last quarter. Actually, Bruce uh, McAvoney pointed it out too. Two examples, both at critical stages of him just finding space in the traffic. One was really the first one, hemmed in in the back pocket and managed to sort of weave in and out of about three opponents and get a clearing kick. And the second one came at, uh, I think ended up, oh, yeah, the move that saw Butler, uh, the the goal Butler kicked when he took the handball from Ryder, which put St Kilda 10 points up. That started with Clark clearing um, his defensive 50 again in heavy traffic. He's a seriously good player, isn't he? Rowan, that it was actually his last 10 minutes. Look, he had had a decent night, not good, not bad. Caulfield probably more impressive over the duration of the evening. That last 10 minutes was the most meaningful, important 10 minutes. I love... Ten, the, it's the last 10 minutes of close games where you see potential champions. It's where I, I saw first saw Robert Harvey and Lenny Hayes become the true stars that they would later be. And Nathan Burke as well was always great when the whips were cracking. Mm. What mm. Hunter Clark stood up and did in that last 10 minutes when other players more, you know, more assured and Callum Wilkie as well, 